it and I don't accept it. Back. It's behind the counter here live on Insane Games TV. Hope everyone had a great holiday week. The channel was off last week, but we're ready to get going here. Um, we got a lot of things to go over. I took the uh, sheet. I could have done the whole show without my notes. Mm, you, re you reached for it real Pretty quick. Pretty quick. But I'm used to having <laughs> Pretty it Pretty quick. Of it. But uh, we're back out of here. Uh, Mike, Steve, Nico, and I. Hope everyone had a great vacation week. Um, we have Black Friday. Weekend, we had the Saratoga Comic Con that we haven't talked about. That was almost, feels like a long time ago. That was almost uh, two weekends ago. That was fun. Um, mm -hmm. So we got some stuff to go over there. We got a lot of Christmas decorations here on the set now and throughout the studio. It's a great time of the year, is it not? Is it, this time is always a great time of the year. And I think um, it's like you always have the people coming and going now. You know what I mean? Like in the summer, everyone's got stuff to do. The studio's quiet besides you. But now, like, it's winter time. We got the pickleball court going again. We got people coming and going. It's always a great time of the year. Some upgrades here on the studio throughout the week. Um, has there been any favorite? Well, <laughs> four brand new chairs here. Some all purple. purple. Purple chairs. Black. Well, you, it kind of looks, they all look black. I mean, you really, you got to really look to see the purple. I don't know how easy it is to see on the camera. But um, <laughs> they got a hint of purple to them. But the same style chairs as the other ones. Um, and now we got those chairs all throughout, so it's, uh, you know, kind of, now people, anyone can come in here and take a seat now, pretty much. <laughs> but, um, so we got new, we got those, us, we got new, we got a new, the seating area, we got a new 75-inch TV. Some new TVs. Now we can watch, uh, fancy football on Sundays and not have to pull out our binoculars from the 55A. I'm sorry, watching <laughs> football on 55-inch TV is like, <laughs> like, <laughs> depends how far away you are. Yeah. There's no point. Uh, we got um, new TV there. We, we, we redid the TVs out in the front, um, on the front wall there, so that's nice. Uh, the point of sale program got updated. A much needed update. If you think about all the things we updated here, the one thing that we've never updated for so long is, you know, the computers that, uh, you know, we run to do sales <laughs> on. And, you know, yeah. think of the most important things. Probably. Um, that they, they, they've gone like eight years. They've done their job. They should be retired and put up on the shelf and. With, with uh, <laughs> dedication and, and uh, not get destroyed. They, they did a lot of surfing, a lot of uh, abuse over the years. Um, but they are um, going to get stored away pretty soon. So we got all the new um, computers out behind the counter. So that's, that was pretty neat. Uh, what else? We, we got a wireless barcode scanner. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to play with. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Makes some funky noises. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so today, you know, doing some little upgrades here in and around the store, so that's always cool. Uh, you guys do anything fun uh, holiday weekend or all last week? Ate a bunch of food, a lot of turkey, and a lot of pie. Was here most days. <laughs> <laughs> but. Halo. I'm just waiting till we go back to the Comic Con talk. I oh, a point. <laughs> I have a, a point <laughs> He's to, waiting. to say. <laughs> Well, let's jump right into that. So we'll, do, our, back we'll, to the we'll do the post Comic Con. Um, so as you know, we're a proud sponsor. Of the, well, maybe you don't know, we're proud sponsors of the Saratoga Comic Con, which happens twice a year. Um, and with that, we're so lucky because it's literally five minutes from here. So it's kind of like our home base. Uh, it's very easy to set up. Very easy to get everything in place. We were uh, first time ever we were able to get there Friday and set up, which I thought was a big help. Normally, we're rushing everything Saturday morning, getting there at like 6 a.m. That's a long day. You get there at 6 a.m., you got to set me, if not earlier. You yeah. got three hours to set up before VIPs are coming in at 9.30. Uh, then on top of that, you're there until 7 o'clock at night. It was a long day. So yeah. setting up on Friday made a big, yeah. big difference, I thought. That made it, yeah. It was extremely smooth. We've done it a couple of times. You have the whole operation ready with uh, building the shelves and getting the product on there, packing it. I felt we felt a little. I felt a little rusty, but we we kind of knew. The, <laughs> it took us a little bit. Almost two years. We kind of got the routine still attacked. Yeah. We got the little clipboard with all the notes, what we need to pack and what we don't need. That which is a big help. And yeah. All in all, for something like that, an event it was extremely smooth. I'd say. I went. I thought it was pretty well. Nico, first time ever going to a comic con. Mm -hmm. Fell right in with all his uh, friends. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. 
I enjoyed it. He noticed about 15 cosplays that I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, even come close to even thinking of. Yep. Knew every character, else. knew every. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say what was the, the most frequent cosplay that you saw there. I couldn't tell you. It's a, a factual answer. Oh, well, that Mike and I both know. <laughs> the answer to. So why don't you give us the top two <laughs> then, if you know. The top two? It? Well, the top one was Tanjiro. <laughs> Tanjiro made a lot of appearances there. was probably there. 25 Tanjiros. And that's from My Hero? No. no. Demon, Demon Slayer. Slayer. <laughs> Grow the fuck up, Dan. <laughs> uh, two? What do you think two was? I saw a lot of just... I don't know that they're being specific characters, but with the Attack on Titan, like... Uh, like mm. shawl things on. I saw there's a lot of other characters from Team Slayer. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, I'd say Ren like Goku's, uh, Tomioka's, yeah. Zenitsu's. At least like 20% of the costumes were Demon Slayer, I'd mm. say. It's quite the takeover. Yep. I yeah. don't know. There was a lot of just like Akatsuki guys from Naruto. I don't, I don't know. I thought, I thought, honestly, I thought the cosplay kind of was down a little bit this year there's a couple of the normal people that go that didn't show up i didn't see many vaders this time you didn't see a lot of the of the traditional no nope. you know like the uh supermans and the you know there was uh, some ba- dark vader there was some nice some batmans yeah, there was yeah, some like nice movie movies. quality batmans they had both of the ben affleck batmans yeah and they're walking they together, together. I saw those. Actually pretty <laughs> nice. I th- my favorite like i said i like the raven ones oh yeah and i liked there was i don't even know what it was there was another cool one it was whatever that group of girls with like the blue like pointy i don't know how to explain it yeah, it was pretty, the blue it was pretty, pointy uh, thing. It was like blue and white, like armor almost. It was oh, like yeah, pointy stuff. Oh, is it like uh, uh? Well, I'm drawing a blank on it. That uh, that one anime. The with the motorcycle and. It looks yeah, kind of futuristic. If that helps. Yeah, I think yeah. I remember the people you're talking about. There was like now, four or five of them. Yeah. Might have been like one dude and four girls or something. I it's said Sailor Moon at first, and yeah, then I was yeah, shot yeah. down. <laughs> it was not Sailor Moon. It was like there yeah. was something that we've. I feel like we've had a pop of before. Gundam. <laughs> wow, that's. Well, Dan's not here. We'll discuss his favorite one: the Bumblebee guy, he... the nine-foot-tall robot. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, Dan was fanboying. He was chasing him down. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Bumblebee. Can I take a picture? Uh, Neon Genesis. Ah, uh, okay. That could be it. Yep, yeah. Dude, that look up the characters it. from that. Let's see. The. It was. Go to like the big picture of like a like or one with a lot of minute. Okay, that scene. This per this main guy, that's kind of what it looked like. Okay. But it was like, I feel like there's a lot of girls wearing like dresses of that. I don't know. That could be it. It was cool though, and the Ravens were. Cool. Yeah, the return of Dan. He made swift work of the customer. <laughs> Did they buy anything? No, traded. Traded like usual. Anything Did you take good? it? I did. Xbox One games, four, five, uh, eight of them. Any good ones? In two a lot seconds. Of Bad, a lot of Crash Bandicoot ones. It's uh, not Mor- a bad little. Mortal Kombat 11. It's not oh, a bad little a stash. guy and a girl? Yeah. Okay, they came in earlier and they said they were going to bring some later. Of course they did. I'm waiting for that. I've had a lady call earlier today with an Oculus 2. She wants to trade in. And you guys said yes. I, for said, the I said, yeah. You can no, Dan shooting. said it very quickly. He said, yes, we'll take it. He wants one of his own. He wants to do. We never really have had one ever even come in on a trade in. But I kind of said yes, thinking she was coming in like when Nico was here, so he could test it, knowing how he's. I said you know, I'm not putting so much that about on it. Right. It'll be the classic. <laughs> spot. I said I didn't want to put it on. But you never know what's on there. Not, more, she, it'll be the classic. She comes in like 10, 20 minutes over in the middle of the show, and that's like a fifteen minute process. If she comes in when I'm here. I'm telling her I'm not taking it. Come on. I have no idea how to operate one of those I things. I don't know how to turn them on. And as Nico said, I'm not putting it on my head. You <laughs> nope. You've all played it. Yeah, but I, would, I couldn't tell you how to even possibly turn it on. When you hand it to well, me, it's one all... one button on the side. When you give one. it to me, it's already loaded and ready to go. 
Nico has been nice in setting it up. He just hands us it and we put it on and it's good to go. You're already fully immersed. <laughs> <laughs> but, so we're, we're having a serial Comic Con conversation. We were talking about other cosplays and then we did bring up Bumblebee, how you were chasing him around. That one probably far the best one. I, I'm disappointed. I don't think he well, won it. Yeah, I, di- I didn't mean like the best and like how it looked. Although those the whatever the neon Gen- Genesis ones, if that's what it was, they looked pretty sweet. But just the ones that were my favorite. I have seen a few of those Bumblebee ones. I, I, w- I don't know if I would say his was the best one. I seen some with some smoke. Remember the one we took a picture of at the Vermont Comic Con? Mm-hmm. You and I got a picture pictures of them all. I don't remember. Is it on the wall? It may not be on. It may not be on the wall. That's a good idea. Oh, who with who? Check the Instagram. You, me, and the, and the, the another robot. <laughs> I think Optimus what it Prime. is. I don't, it's not Bumblebee. It was Optimus red. Optimus Prime? Uh, no. Megatron? No. I couldn't tell Star you. Starscream? <laughs> Starscream? No. But, um... Wow. But that one had smoke coming out, remember? He was walking doing this, and the scene was coming out <laughs> of the band. So, I mean, I've seen a little bit more, I mean, some more detailed robot ones. I like the robotics. But all in all, not a bad, um, not a bad journey. And of course, the, the, one of the best things is going around trying to find some cool stuff to get. Um, I think Nico made about six trips trying Ooh. to find <laughs> uh, things he was. We were trying to find the Demon Slayer earrings. But yeah. We couldn't find them anyway. We could not find them anywhere. <laughs> um, and trying to find stuff for our sets and, and for around the store. We did get the Spider Man. The black gold Spider-Man right here on the on the set, so we got that. So that's cool. Oh, and then the Are you big. Worthy piece. of putting that on? <laughs> it could melt you. Are you His hand into it. it on? I could put it on if you don't want to. <laughs> the Hulk did the burden for everybody. That comes with a lot of power, Dan. <laughs> Wait, what? That comes with a lot of power. Well, I'm well aware. <laughs> All the stones. I'm well aware. <laughs> that was Activate. the best part about it. We were going, we were going to go get it, but we didn't know it lit up and everything. And the people selling it saw our interest and they're like, "Do you want to try it on?" And then it started doing the robotic noises and the lights and everything. And then we knew we had to have it. <laughs> well, I think the pro- I think when we first went up there, we thought it was handmade. Yeah, but it looked like just like a clay statue, kind of from a distance. And we were like, well, we still need a glove on this set. This bad boy is definitely a piece they need to be in this studio. That we like, didn't realize you can move the fingers individually and stuff. That it's is quite the toy. Did Thanos have his on his left arm? That is a good question. You could get both of them. Yes, it had to have been. Why? Yeah. I mean, because of how... But it wouldn't make it like this if it was on his right. It wouldn't make it his left. Well, this is a different one because it's the Hulk. The Hulk Hulk wore that one. one. Yeah. Nonetheless, a pretty nice. See uh, that bad boy. No. Come on, you didn't even show the best part. You're not worthy of wearing it. No, you have to show him the best part. Are you worthy of putting it on? (laughs) I might get melted. That should be a must every time someone puts it on. You gotta do the <laughs> <laughs> But this little button right there. What is the I'm sound of that? I think that's like shooting a beam out of it at somebody. Or is that the sound where he, cl- where he snaps his fingers? Is it? I think that's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but right, right after he hits it and it goes, do it. It just like burns him when he does that. Maybe not. Mm. And then what everybody has to do with it, they all... You got the rock up there now? <laughs> what? The rock and mankind set you got up on the... It's coming down. It's What's that? Brigitte, well, who put that there? Whose who? is that? The, the Overwatch <laughs> one. No one did sneak in somehow. I don't know if that's someone's that? favorite that character or something. No. or. Luke's been talking about Brigitte a lot. Was that him? Did he Perhaps. sneak out there? <laughs> I, I noticed he changed my skin. Somebody changed my skin before. the other day. They put the Pepsi yeah. skin on my guy. Oh, I haven't <laughs> my, been on there. I haven't played Halo a game skin. since my Fortnite <laughs> days out there. Give me that back. No, put it right here next to Steve and I. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, we, you know, we got that, the Spider-Man. We got the new glove here. 
Um, so a lot of cool stuff we were able to bring back from Sierra Toga Comic Con. Definitely a, uh, a nice trip and, and uh, <laughs> we had some fun with Nico that. got a sword. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah well, you, we got a couple of different things. <laughs> Me? Yeah. What'd Not really. Get? Just the comics and the statue and the sword. Pretty what? We all got a lot of comics. Actually, I do have some comics in my bag I got to pull out. I got a couple of Cyclops <laughs> ones to put in my office. Frame him. You saw Tom running around getting comics. I never knew he was a comic guy yet. I mean, so yeah, I didn't think he was just overwhelmed in, <laughs> in the experience. I don't know. He was some of mine. Like I was getting, they were like middle issues. Like it wasn't like the first issue of something. He's like, "Are you gonna read those?" I was like, "Probably not the middle <laughs> random issues." He was appalled by that. So he might be. Maybe. But um, yes, we had fun with that. Um, great, great time. So uh, I guess they're doing the next year to a Comic Con in May. So it feels like it went right at the beginning of the winter and then right at the end. So it feels like it'll be it'll be here sooner than you know. Um, is it normally busier in the winter or in the I think spring? the winter one's busier. So we just had our busier one probably. Because everyone's like getting tucked in and everyone's kind of... It was a nice environment. Everybody was very ready for an event like that, it seemed like. But um, but yeah, so that, uh, that, that was cool. Uh, glad to do that. Steve had to keep the fort in line. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, he kept the, the walls up and the place running smoothly. Surprisingly, it's actually pretty busy though. I'm busy say. here too. It's a, not a desirable job, but an important one nonetheless. Probably the most <laughs> important one. <laughs> Keeping the store afloat while the comic con's going on. I don't know. Dave and I were pretty important. We were a nice tag team. Dave Ooh. was talking to everyone and saying that I'm the resident. Uh, Expert of pops, <laughs> <laughs> tag teaming all the customers. Nico does have a very weird connection with the pops. Yeah, yeah. The, the VP of pops. A weird obsession. <laughs> <laughs> mm. A pop professor, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I own probably the least the amount of pops. Of pops? It's building now. Mm-mm. And the selections are not, not nerdy, I will say. <laughs> Mine? They're not not nerdy. <laughs> Just wait until Tanjiro joins the race. <laughs> that one I want myself. I'm getting tired of hearing that. My, my, Nico's looking for this one pop. And the, oh, and we ordered got, it like, two months ago. Every day he comes in and asks me for it. And Say, it's like, Tanjiro. Yeah, <laughs> I, pre- I pre-ordered it. I didn't order it for the community. No, it, it released October 7th. We wow. We figured that and out. And I asked you, did you see anyone else get them? We didn't see a single one at the Comic Con. Mm-hmm. That's just because so many people want it, though. Have you seen one on eBay, on the store, on Amazon? Like, I'm not talking a stock on Big photo. Apple collectibles. I'm talking like a real in their hand photo. No, no one does posts no on eBay like this. <laughs> Holding a talisman. Like They're not you know? out it yet. That's the, well, that's the reason why. There is a couple of them that are out. That oh, are. Yeah, there are. Or they are. Steve's got, Steve just pulled one up. Is it the one, though? The one where he's just standing there? Oh, it's... Oh. No, that's the flame sword. One. No, but I'm those ones. Sure they all release in October. Not all. All of sure? the Demon Slayer ones. There might have been some that came out earlier. I don't know. I ordered. did see one. Remember, I found that water dragon one on for thirty. <laughs> did you bucks. pre-order that one? No, I should. Yeah, I, I don't know. Up until Nico coming, I don't know if I would have ordered Demon Slayer. I didn't really watch it either. I've heard good things about it. They had the movie it's in the, the theaters at one point. Yeah, that's the one. Is it a real photo? Yes, it is. Right, that's the one, Mike. Right, that is the one. Mm-hmm. Already going for twenty four ninety nine. Tanjiro, comedy. we'll get them in, and you can start <laughs> selling them for thirty a pop. Maybe other people ordered it before I could order it. Well, I'm just saying that if you get them in now, do you, when you order them, are they you you locked in like they can't cancel your order? It's in poor taste, somewhat. Well, there's, there's, <laughs> I, there's reason to suspect that maybe it's first come first serve. So maybe so many people ordered so many of them. That now they they can't get me enough. Mm. Well, Nico's asking, we get them in. Are we selling them for twelve ninety nine or the going rate of thirty? You say it's, it's, it's poor. T- it's poor taste when you it's get a, them it's new. A dangerous <laughs> game. Put, put them out. When we get them in on collections, it's fair game because we paid a lot to get them. But when they come in brand new, mm, you almost have to. They'll sell in a day. People know. They would. I mean, yeah. Why don't we go half and half? The, the first few people, no, the first few people get them for twelve ninety nine. <laughs> Once we only the got slackers, one or two they get them for thirty. <laughs> and Nico gets it for forty two ninety nine. <laughs> no, I might buy two, one from my collection and one to destroy in front of Nico. No, <laughs> no. 
one for the collection and one for when it inevitably goes up in value <laughs> within a month. <laughs> to make a nice profit. <laughs> And then but, on the next release, buy three for the <laughs> cost of that. I don't know why we haven't gotten them yet. I don't know I don't either. Know what the deal is. Maybe maybe they maybe those people order them directly for Funko. Why I, get them, I get them through my different vendors. We pretty much sold all of our anime pops that we had. We had a whole rack of anime mm-hmm. pops within three weeks of two three weeks of Comic Con, and the whole thing we have three left. Our pop something. selection is extremely low now. It took a beating. Like we sold at least fifty anime pops in two weeks. <laughs> hmm. No. Um. So yeah. So where were we? We, we were done with Comic Con, right? Yeah. We we're just talking Demon Slayer again oh, somehow. Yeah, he was obsession. Oh, we're oh yeah, the Tanjiro with pop. The pop. <laughs> <laughs> VP of pops. I mean, I will say it's pretty well organized out there. It was a well-needed touch. I mean, Nico does take ownership of them when they come in. One could like say... a crazy man and, and is out there <laughs> reorganizing and labeling them. And I haven't around. had to process pops in a long time, so that's a good sign. When I come in and every single pop has been processed already. I was given the task of eliminating them all from the <laughs> inventory today. That was also a good task <laughs> for Nico. Someone's got to do it. It's a dirty business, but someone's like when that's a, it's no, okay. that's one of those when your arm hurts and you're you know, <laughs> my you're eyes hurt. Typing so much, you're like <sighs> with the arm. It was okay. We got to watch Shang Chi, as he said it was called in the movie, <laughs> while we were doing it. <laughs> Nico just always has these absurd movies on. The it's a Marvel day. movie. It's literally like the one of the newest Marvel it movies. Probably, who watches that? Isn't Everyone that the it? guy that's a partner with Doctor Strange? Right. He was in it, but yeah. it's not him. Wong, that was Wong. Oh yeah, he was, in it he was in the fighting pit. He's fighting Abomination, the original Abomination from that first Hulk movie. Whoa! It did make half a million in uh, the box office. That's bad for a Marvel movie. Yeah, but this is like one of the weird Marvel movies. It's still considered one of the main Marvel movies for Phase Three, Four. Phase Three four. or Phase Four stinks. Have we seen any that were really good yet mm, for Phase Four? But it's not out be. yet. It's v- it could, this is like the biggest setup for a movie to be disappointing. Like Toby will be in it for like two minutes. Yeah. And then hey, man. They, did it right <laughs> they didn't have Pizza him in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it did gross more than the first Captain America movie. Whoa. Inflation. <laughs> Inflation. By like it's only like ten million years. dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. How much did Black did Widow do? That's a good question. Let's find out. She she was half. She was angry. She did that movie that stunk. Ridiculous. Yeah, but still, like that was I was excited. I think they got that got rating one. bombed before it even came out. No, fi- Disney ruined that when it came out. They came out like why not just call X Men? They just they're they're a determined to only call it Dark Phoenix. That came out right around the time Game of Thrones ended. It had Sansa Stark well, that's, and that's some of really the hate like dripped the, over. one of the biggest arcs in X Men <laughs> is the Dark Phoenix arcs. Black Widow made less than Shang Chi in the box office. Shang Chi is a heavy hitter. Because everyone was watching <laughs> it from home. <laughs> that's why I didn't even know that it was on streaming right now. The that Chang Shang Chi, that's what he said. <laughs> Chang Chi, Shang Chi, <laughs> because it was a joke. Because he goes by Sean. <laughs> remember? I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember, Dan? I'm aware how it works. Dan acts like he doesn't like any of the movies that I watch out there, and he intently watches along. Go catch him staring. Because they're on. What am I supposed <laughs> to do? Not watch them? They're all terrible. Mm, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't go watch them on my own. Have you never seen one All of right. the ones that you were intrigued by? I had a good question for you. Best Nico movie and worst Nico movie you've seen out there? Yeah. I know what the best is right away. From his reactions, I know what the best one is. <laughs> best one's probably Jumanji. Yeah, right? that's what I was thinking. <laughs> no. you, you, Dan was like, ha! <laughs> Those are the OG like Jumanji. Or the new no, no, the, the new Rock. Uh, <laughs> the worst one, definitely one of the, one of the X Men ones. I did. Uh, like uh, yeah, I thought you would have liked. I those. watched Dark Phoenix 
recently. I think that's the only Dan one loves X Men too. Oh, Dark Phoenix. I might have watched. I, I wasn't around when you had Dark Phoenix on. What else did I watch? I might have watched, watched that. Days of Future's Past, but I thought you liked that. Yeah, I've oh no, 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 it was First Class. You didn't like oh, that. I saw the. Well, I've seen that. Yeah, I why didn't you like that? Movies. So what's why didn't you like the X Men ones that I was watching? What ones were I watching? <laughs> I didn't say I didn't like them. Yeah, I said the worst one and the best one. I said the worst one was one of the Star Wars. Oh, oh you said, said X Men. Star Wars. Okay, mm-hmm. he did, did not. Yeah, he did. Oh he no, did, one well, of the worst ones is Star Wars. Oh, if anyone that's watching is a, a Star Wars <laughs> fan, Dan, I was watching Empire, was and Dan it? was disgusted by it. <laughs> the best Star Wars movie of all time, and Dan said, "Get this off. This <laughs> is." The, Worst thing I've ever well, seen. Well, would you rank Kyra as far as Star Wars goes as a movie better than Empire? Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> I mean, I like I Revenge of the Sith, but I, I feel like Empire that's is my like number two. what people say. <laughs> that's like consensus yeah. that everyone thinks is the best one. I guess. I, 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 Revenge of the Sith Star Wars at its best. hits you right <laughs> there. <laughs> I just don't have any patience for it. I don't find it at all interesting. Like I would say, in I think it's completely overrated for all the all well, the people that are just so such Star Wars crazies. When it came it. out at the time, it did. It was absurd. Yeah. Obviously, if you watch it and expect it to hold up now, yeah. Maybe. Dan was like, "These special effects stink," <laughs> and it was like the best special effects ever at the time. It was not, not really, was it? What other yes. movie around that time had better? Well, I don't know. I couldn't even tell you what year the Star Wars <laughs> came out. 1970. Yeah, it was like <laughs> late it 1970. Like, it looked like it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have 2020 technology then. They're just awful movies. I, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even really say that. It's not even an opinion. It's not, even That's about, a <laughs> it's not even about the graphics. The acting alone was bad. That's how they all are. Are they? It's supposed to be cheesy. It's for kids. At the core of it, maybe not anymore. A, but show me a movie like that. That's like that you think is good. Then, like an old one like that, an old sci-fi flick. He probably doesn't have any. I really, I, I, you, you put me in the spot <laughs> trying to come up with a movie. It's like you, what? What even it. is around that time? He just like, doesn't like that genre. I just don't like Star Wars. He didn't. Like Predator. He loves Star Trek these days, but he doesn't like the old Star no, Treks. I don't, I don't like. The, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the He's a Chris movies, Pine too. guy. He doesn't like, like the cheesy that. acting. <laughs> I do like the... I actually like that. I had a bit. gift ready to go yesterday in case Kirk Cousins did good. It was just like, <laughs> he's like, I'm Captain Kirk. He's like smashing the table. <laughs> I was ready to send that, and then Kirk sucked. I'm not a fan of the older <laughs> movies, I think, at the end of the day. I think, I, I mean, you guys are. I'm not. They I mean, like, I don't better, prefer them, then. but there's a lot of really good ones. They just yeah, don't I'm make them like they used to. You like keep talking about you like I, <laughs> I just don't understand. Like some of those, you get like the best quotes and like punchlines. Like all from, the Western like, movies, movies from that time period yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. The Clint Eastwood. So many movies. sweet ones. He's like, yeah, like Predator and like Alien were probably like eighties ish. The Arnold Roughly movies. Around there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And those are. I did like classics. those action hero Arnold movies. Yeah. I was watching one, but then I fell asleep the other day. I think it was The Last Action Hero on Netflix. Okay. It was making me laugh because it was purposely over the top. Yeah, like The Expendables. <laughs> Did you watch those movies? I actually didn't. But you should, if you like that, t- it's literally <laughs> like, especially Expendables 3 to be exact, like the opening scene of that. I'm going to have to watch that here one day. <laughs> it's literally like the dumbest stuff like they take it like rpgs and like shoot at each you know like <laughs> hit a guy in the stomach and like blow him in half and like it's like the <laughs> dumbest like action ever it's uh, homie oh, look up the cast of expendables 3 that one yeah it started to get a little crazy then who did they were like had Are like randy couture yeah, yeah. oh expendables? god they're making a fourth one next oh, year no. <laughs> do three and the cast of that is like then arnold heaven. finally get in there yeah right. he's in it sylvester stallone jason statham Harrison Ford, Dolph Lundgren, <laughs> Antonio Banderas, Randy Couture. Where's more of the cast? There's, yeah, there's so many. Here we go. Jackie Chan, uh, <laughs> Bruce Willis, <laughs> Steven Seagal, Nick Cage, uh, Ivan Kostadinov, Robert De Niro. <laughs> it's absurd. And yeah, Arnold's in some of them. They have the guy. What's the Machete guy? Uh, Danny yeah. Trejo. Danny Trejo. Yeah, he's in there. Have you ever seen absurd. Machete too? That movie I don't was. Know if I've seen the second. Well, it was Machete. the most ridiculous movie. <laughs> it seems like he's. Yeah, <laughs> Expe- I love the, and that. Has, there's Ronda Rousey's in Expendables three. I think like it's like 
the most absurd <laughs> deaths and like kills of all time. There was one scene in Machete too. I recommend you look it up. Where there was this one dude, they roll out in a wheelchair as like a peace offering before a fight breaks out. And then every single guy they have just brains down like assault rifles and everything <laughs> on this guy in a wheelchair. And then it gets quiet and then they a guy with a rocket launcher pops out and shoots them. I was just like... <laughs> that is, that's literally Expendables. Or the movie, have you ever seen... Uh, with Will Forte, the guy from SNL, uh, McGruber. It's like a uh, MacGyver yeah. like spoof movie. That's pretty funny. He like yeah. just rips people's throats out. That's like his movie. Like, grabs their throats and like rips it out. That's pretty sweet. What were we talking about? We're still talking seventies movie. Yeah, I, I was totally Nico wrong. just mentioned yeah. McGruber. <laughs> what about Gruber? Mac- no, McGruber. It's like a spoof of MacGyver. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I hate comedy. <laughs> What's you have no soul, Dan. I have a soul. I, I, just, I don't like comedy. I don't like laughing. I don't I like getting immersed what? in fantasy. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of all the comedy. So movies. what movies do you like? The Jack Blacks and the... You only like, like straight up action spy movies. And the Adam Sandler. Rich guys with tech. <laughs> you don't like... You don't like... Uh, Mission Impossible. No, what's the... <laughs> Grown Ups. That's just a classic, classic film. How that can you not like that? Good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have zero interest in it. So, yeah, you're just a Mission Impossible guy? <laughs> yeah, Mission Impossible? That's so, exactly just right. James Bond? That's all I you like? James Bond. That's the kind. That's like an ideal Dan movie. Mm-hmm. The Bourne movies? He does like the horror I ones, too, I've seen. I like scary ones. You like scary I'm movies? Bit, yeah, yeah. I'm not... Uh, you liked you like it and ones? Michael Myers. We saw those in Well, theater. I feel like those aren't that scary. But do you like scary movies? I don't particularly like them, but Nico I'll watch like them. I don't know. I've heard you say the other before. Conj- you- I don't. If it's up to me, I, will not, I won't watch a scary movie on my own. Well, no one really does that. Conjuring 2, though. <laughs> now, that's a good movie. I, watched, I would watch Friday one. the 13th on my own. Would you, though? I would. That's I don't think you would move. really do that. That's kind of a weird move, honestly. <laughs> Just laying in bed, like I'm gonna watch a spooky movie. <laughs> if it's Halloween season, yes, I'm come not, here. I'm not, I'm not just laying in bed in in, uh, in January. You know, I'm gonna watch Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> I mean, if it's October and I'm sk- I'm going through it, I see a movie. Yeah, d- I guess if it's celebrate. October, it's, if it's on TV, I'm fine occasion. with it. If it's on TV, I'm fine with it. I it just seems weird to pull up a scary movie on your own, like it's for really group watch. It. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not like it's. Unusual. I did watch a Chucky marathon in October. That was on TV. I mean, there are people who watch <laughs> every day of the night. That's weird. For the next twenty-five days. I'll partake in some Rudolph mm. uh, before the the days here. Who did we ask, Luke? Yeah, and he yeah. was pooping all over your Christmas movie taste the other he day. He was he was <laughs> more towards Dan though with his most iconic. He was a he little was bit closer to his taste. The classic old art <laughs> cartoons. That, that's not what I'm. We talking We will about. say he was a lot closer to Dan's taste than us, but. When we brought up the Santa Claus, he laughed at his ridiculousness. <laughs> He's like, what? That didn't even <laughs> pop into my mind. <laughs> I, I it's not it's saying that uh, that's a, a bad movie Christmas or movie that I'm Rudolph good. is definitively the best movie. It's just the most like iconic one. I just look at it as probably one of the biggest uh, movies out there for Christmas is the Santa Claus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Clearly, they, the people agree there's three of them. Santa Claus 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> Three was absolute shit. Though. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> engage in the third one. No. Some of the greatest things, though, when they cut it off before it goes too long. They should have been really. The Santa Claus knew that they got more than they should have at the beginning, so they tried no, to no, milk no. it. The Santa Claus is a classic <laughs> movie. They milked it dry. And I, you know, if I looked at, it, I would say it deserves a it, it deserves a sequel. It did, but I don't know. I don't think they did the second one right to set up for the third one. It's like Home Alone as well. Home Alone <laughs> classic. They had a good sequel, but then the third one was garbage. There's six of them now. Yeah, they're six about to. There's Home a Home Alone movies. about to come yeah. out. Oh, I thought you were saying Santa Claus. Oh, I was yeah, like, I thought it was. Too. Oh my god. They've been advertising <laughs> this new one heavily. I would rather die than see that. From what I've seen from those and, trailers. And the problem is, the movies that come out these days are nothing like the good old classic ones. Then you yes. say you don't like old movies. That's a, you just proved our point, kind of. <laughs> it's not an old movie. It's pretty. It's old now. No, if you ask a kid what Home Alone is, they I'm probably sorry, won't know. Mike, first off, <laughs> ninety early nineties at best. Do you don't even Steve, know the classic Home Alone Star Wars <laughs> movies? And they are so <laughs> bad. What? Nineteen ninety on the dot what? for Home a, Alone. That's one. not that old. Uh, <laughs> they made a new It's older than I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Dan it's not saw that in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> I've 
but that is, the problem is though the people the, the Star Wars the, the, everything's oh, so right. bad exactly. about it. Like the people back in the seventies could still move around like the people now, but their acting is so bad. What do you mean? When I see they them don't fighting like move with the like lightsabers. Darth Vader's half robot. If and they Obi-Wan were made out of like glass, like, yeah. Obi Wan is that first one is questionable. Eight, fucking cool moves. <laughs> like they just the nothing first, cool. That's not the one we were talking about. That's the New Hope. And then they stepped it up in Empire Strikes Back. I mean, I get oh, the yeah. graphics may not be the same, but people in the 70s could still dance around and hop and move and do moves it's like, like, like the people now. Yeah, but that's not what the moves were then. Because the movies were they, bad. It, no, the, that Luke Vader fight at the end of Empire in like the dark on Best Bear, that's moved so sweet. Is it? Yes. Yeah. With the red and the gr- green lightsabers in the dark. Those are Dan's favorite colors, too. What? The red and green. <laughs> Especially colors. combined, he loves Christmas time. <laughs> I'm more of a I'm more of a red and black. <laughs> there, take it easy. <laughs> That's straight that up one. Ohio State That's, colors. I'm That's wearing red and black. <laughs> yeah, the That's Sith. Darth That's Maul. something a Sith would say. His shirt I looks like Darth of, Maul's face. I am part of House Slytherin. <laughs> they're green. Exactly, but they're still on the dark side. <laughs> They're on the dark and That's a subjective, isn't it? How do you know you're on Slytherin? All the houses have seen that. Great you Wizards. You did the sorting hat? I know, I did the quiz. You have to go to Harry Potter World and do the sorting hat. No, no. there's a site that you do, you take the quiz. Have you ever done it? No. Okay, so you don't I know I think that was an official are. Harry Potter site. It's an official Harry Potter Okay, site. then I'm going to take the quiz, even though I've never seen Harry Potter. What were you officially ranked as wow, on the other one? Wow, he's breaking down the houses to me, and he's never even <laughs> seen Harry Potter before. I Same. forgot about You that. have to get sorted <laughs> by the sorting hat. Yeah, in the movies... He might. I don't, they Mom, have a real Mom, sorting Mom, hat for next it. episode. Don't watch any Harry Potters between now and then. I'm gonna make a quiz of Harry Potter, and I bet Nico still scores higher on the Harry Potter quiz than you without watching. Nico's any. a freak. He remembers everything. <laughs> I think I might. He literally remembers everything about everything. It's absurd. Oh, does Am Johnny watch all of them? I'll have to talk to someone that's a it's Potter a, it's master. Reason why when someone comes in and asks some <laughs> random pop, Nico goes, "No, don't have it." Oh, yep, over in the back corner, third to the right. <laughs> <laughs> he knows exactly where it is. It's a I would love to have a nice little paper test for both of you guys to take and see who scores better. I would never ever take a paper <laughs> test again. I'll take a paper test ever. on anything and be better. I graduated from high school. No, I would never take another. You took one the other. What do we do? A paper exam. We had you take a paper so. paper test. Put your number two pencils down. <laughs> the scantron. Just like a ten, <laughs> just little ten question worksheet. Yeah. Make sure you mark your. Make sure you show your work. I have seen one Harry Potter. And the paper I've told like, you guys both. I've described the one. It's when they do all the games and they're going through the maze at the end. The Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the one I know. The interesting the first one. Is that, um, it was at a, a birthday party. Chart, that's the, 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 where the party was. Uh, a paper, newspaper. You ever have those ones? What's that? We take an exam, but the exam paper, like newspaper. Oh, uh, yeah. The DBQs, them. remember those? Social studies. <laughs> Are you saying it's the material of a newspaper? Yeah, Maybe I'll give you guys a Harry Potter DBQ. Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm not doing a DBQ. <laughs> there won't be any uh, short answer questions for me. <laughs> Explain who the best I, character I, is I, and why. Yeah, with re, with sources. <laughs> I think I think I think uh, Steve would win that. He wrote a, a ten page essay about why NASCAR is the best game. <laughs> why it's a four out of ten. It will always be in my heart. <laughs> And yet you like the new one that came out. That's a complete disaster. I am a simple man. <laughs> if the physics are better, I immediately like it better. Heat NASCAR heat physics are absolute dog shit. <laughs> so when it comes to Steve and his games, the most important thing is the cars on the track and how they race. Dan wants the big lobbies and the customization. Exactly. Actually, I think the customization might be better than the new one. But it's besides the point. Is, but no one can enjoy it because you can't put your car on the track when you race. Yeah. What houses are you guys? Now I'm interested. Oh, yeah. I forgot. That's what we were saying. I'm Which one? Slytherin. Yeah, I know that. I, I took it twice. Two. I got two different ones, but most of the time I got How Hufflepuff. How you two different ones? Hufflepuff. It depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm feeling one? more justified, and then I got Gryffindor or Hufflepuff. Oh, Gryffindor. That's yeah. the main one. Right? Yeah. Hufflepuff's the like side one. Oh, is that just one that no one likes? That's just Hufflepuff like and Ravenclaw one? are the side ones. I want to be one of those ones. They're the chill is guys this, or the smart ones. I bet Nico's a Ravenclaw. Rainfall. I don't know. How is the Gryffindor? They said it's a Harry Potter website. Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw is supposed to be world. the smart guys and the knowledgeable no one. Even, I bet Nico's a Ravenclaw. <laughs> I would bet money. 
I'll, I'll be taking this quiz. Are they recognizing it all in the series? Barely. Mm-hmm. No I'll do it on my phone while Steve does it on his computer. No one's <laughs> part of Raven. I don't think any characters in the series part of Raven. I'm trying to think. There is none. Maybe Harry had a crush on one of them or no, something. he had the crush on the girl that was part of Gryffindor. It's going to do this brain. Oh. Discover your Hogwarts house. I don't, they even know, I don't think anyone's even in Hufflepuff. Try to log in. There's a couple of Hufflepuffs. Who? Not many, though. Who? Yeah. I am not as I have to create an account educated on Harry Potter as I should be. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the brainfall one because you don't have to sign in for that. I'm creating an account. You keep talking while I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free. Um but yeah, come holiday season will be all over the uh the Harry Potter movies. Like Did everyone has been attracted to that one spot at the counter since the show started. <laughs> It's, it's like, uh, they're well, probably looking to ask a question or no, something. They're, walking out. they're just attracted to that one little corner. What house were you, Steve? I'm still doing it now. Oh, okay. It's isn't a long it? exam, isn't it? It's 12 questions. Pretty sure I'm a Hufflepuff. It's a long I know. Exam. But one time, it depends how house I'm in, what mood I'm in. But we're getting to that time of the year where it's the holidays, and it's good old time for a good old movie on the front TV, and it's going to be Harry Potter's because they all had the Christmas season besides the last two, I believe. I always have a movie going. People enjoy the movies more than the herd. You you like (laughs) movies? Wait till uh, the 24 hours of the Christmas story comes on. And you got to watch the Christmas story for two weeks straight. Who does that? Damn. You never seen that? Come on, Ralphie. (laughs) The last two weeks of December, it's Christmas story all day. day. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's right. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Is this me now? No. No. I think a video just dropped. Tom just dropped a streamable link in the chat. (laughs) I did have one I made of me beating him, but I only released it to a select few. I mean, few. is it even worth it? Perhaps I'll let you guys those, see like, it afterwards. 45, is it, <laughs> if it's what a seven-minute video, I just can't. I'll save it until afterwards because I need to be fully fully embraced in there. <laughs> this is a very interesting quiz. It's just like telling me to it's choose my pet. Video. Oh, that one's sweet. <laughs> that one looks sweet. I got like a. Dan, don't spoil it. <laughs> what do you mean? This is absurd. What? You don't watch it that way yet. What do you mean? You <laughs> gotta sit. You really gotta sit and absorb it. Oh, dude, it's been a long time since our last time video. <laughs> I enjoy I them. Play it. I will play it, and no problem. I pretty much got smacked down by the fantasy gods in every way. <laughs> yeah, I got another. Keep talking. Flutter um, by Bush. Flutter be Bush. Yeah, they ask you stuff like. What you would do in situations and stuff like this that. This one's just making me pick pictures of random stuff. I think I took that one. It's like when you see these ink spots, what picture do you see? Uh, doing this, this. It's making me take a survey. You can definitely influence what house you're going to. Yeah, but I don't know, like have like <laughs> pre-existing knowledge of my house. I'm a Hufflepuff. Yeah. I, I think Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff is probably going to be the most common like people. That's what I got. It's for, like, the nice, chill people. <laughs> the fun ones. <laughs> and then Gryffindors are, like, the brave and stuff like that. The Slytherins are sneaky. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's pretty much the only thing I've ever gotten from Ravenclaws who's supposed to be smart. Oh. God. Big trust. What does this even mean? Full health. Right or left? <laughs> you tell you. You tell me. Left. <laughs> <laughs> what does it look like to you? The sorting hat is ready to make its decision. I'm Hufflepuff too. You lost, Mike. Hmm. You're yes, Hufflepuff. I'm Hufflepuff. Uh, yeah. Looks like we're all Hufflepuff. Except for Dan. We're oh house. yeah, I got the cool guy from the movie that I watched, <laughs> Robert Pattinson. Wait, was it Cedric Diggory? Yeah. He's a Hufflepuff. Dan said, who's a Hufflepuff? And then he... Oh, no, he said, who's a Ravenclaw guy? And the guy from Fantastic Beasts. God, Newt. (laughs) Nymphadora Tonks. (laughs) So we are all 100% certain that Dan is a Sith Lord? (laughs) I think so. What's the matter? What happened? What? What happened? 
That lady was that yelling. That might be one of the most absurd customers I have ever. <laughs> What'd she say? I have no idea what she's saying. Something about music. I don't. I I think she's drunk. Oh God. What did she <laughs> say out there? That's good. <laughs> I just went. I simply went out. Like she had. Like, okay, help you? Yeah, she was. I made it. And I thought she was the uh, Oculus lady. And she, she she threw it back up on the counter. And it was all 360 games. And I, and I said, uh, oh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't do any cash right now. I go, because, you know, we've, we've handed out. We had an Xbox One trade in. Yeah. It's like, I, we, we've we had, had like, like 200, 500 dollars in cash yeah. trades. I don't, there's not enough in the drawers. She goes, are you kidding me? I came out my, I'm a musician. I'm 51 years old. I've been coming around here. I got a cure for cancer. And I'm, just, I'm just like, I just need $5 to get home to my dogs, my money. And I'm just like, and she started crying. I'm just like. Did you take it in? And I said, no. I didn't. <laughs> and I, I said, I, I can leave me tomorrow. She, she just was all over the place. She talked about how she's a musician. Her her father is Teddy Mercury. Is that, is that some kind of famous Teddy? singer? I think she said my Freddie. Freddie, and Freddie that's Mercury. probably not true. Her did you hear father's did you hear the, No. No, oh. Freddie Mercury is the lead singer of Queen. The, mm, very common. One of the biggest yeah. rock bands of all time. Well, apparently that's her father, so I <laughs> <laughs> That's He's also she maybe she probably said Teddy though. British, and I'm think he was shooting the other way, so I don't know that he has. Uh, it. She was He's just like all over the board and so, been dead for a while. Being nice, yeah. Dan, I gave her five dollar <laughs> bill, and I said, "Make sure you bring the games back tomorrow." She's like, "We have enough to bring them back tomorrow." No, all of a sudden she was happy. So, but none of, I just was like, I was just sitting there going, "Uh, what?" She was just all, she was talking about how she'd been around the place 51 years and been all over the place, up and down the road and this and that. My doctors were in this area. I'm just like, I, I, I never, I don't think I've ever heard so much stuff come out from like all different areas in like 30 seconds more than that. <laughs> Freddie Mercury never had any kids. I, I thought she said, she definitely said Mercury, but I thought she said Teddy. Is there a Teddy It's Mercury? probably like a local guy or something. Let's find out. Theodore Mercury. Freddie Mercury is all that comes up. What about Teddy Theodore Mercury? Mercury? <laughs> a good old a clean Theodore. cover band singer, Teddy Mercury. That was, that, that was just in the local New York area. <laughs> I was just. I mean, what I did give her, not give her a five dollar bill when she's on the counter crying. I would have just. I, mean, I wouldn't have even known what to it, do. What? I wouldn't have even known what to do. <laughs> I mean, we're not allowed to do it. I Which would have said, normal, "I'll take but... all those games for five dollars." <laughs> no, you you would have. I wouldn't I have just. Would've. I wouldn't have just given it to her. I probably would have taken the trade in. Yeah. <laughs> I was. She's coming back tomorrow. Was it a lot of games or something? Three sixty games. We sold a buy one get one again today. Buy one get one of what? Oh, games. of the our games without cases, Ben. I'll be back onto this subject. It really has helped get some extra Speaking games. Speaking of <laughs> games without cases, uh, Tuesday, last Tuesday. Uh, Dave and I got a trade in, and so it was just a bunch of random shit, and and it was two Wii's that didn't work. Guy didn't want them, didn't pay for them, so I took them in the back, opened one up. There was one game in one. I haven't opened the other one. It's in immaculate condition. <laughs> Is it sports? It's learning. <laughs> Education. <laughs> Are we guessing it? Is that the name of it, or are you oh, giving no, us a hint? Oh, okay. I was. I thought that was a game. And you it, guys are you smarter, smarter you than, than a? There's a game called Learning. Is it? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> no, nah, sadly, <laughs> it's like some rated leapfrog. EC for early childhood development. Oh, no. It's Leapfrog. <laughs> guys, we do get a lot of people in here looking for Leapfrog stuff. I got. You know what you need to start ordering is Pokemon cards. I have. 10 million people a day asking me for those. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. First off, I don't know anything about Pokemon cards. I'm a, I've been on the game for a long time. If you were to sell just a new pack, it would be easy. But, yeah. like, Not, you're talking, like, collectibles. People come in, like, I don't know. It mean, gets crazy if people want to trade in, you want to sell them used. If I, I sit that's down, I can, I can remember Not how to trade play. ins because you got to, like, grade those. Right. If I sit down, I, I always forget how to play until I sit down and actually mm. look at it again. I don't think I've ever played the I actual played Pokemon it. cards. It's not too hard. And I played a couple years ago. Yu-Gi-Oh! now with the dual deck on your arm. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot to bring that in. And so you got to get one of those for I could be playing that. <laughs> so over and under. I know. I want a Dark Magician figure for my set. Over and under on that lady returning. 
I yeah, hope that, not. Yeah, good D&D. That, that, I mean, there's only five bucks. Do you bucks. really want her to She'll probably return? come back at some point, but I don't probably think not I would. tomorrow. Okay, do you think she'd <laughs> come back, yes or no? By when? Tomorrow? By the next week. No. And by, uh, I would say she probably went she right come into the back next store and did the same thing. Well, you think so? Yes or no? You think well, she doesn't have. She had games specifically to bring here. The and antique store. gamer and this and that. And she needed to come here. She's selling thing. all of his games. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't need them anymore, and she probably bought them for she him. She's doing a little <laughs> jig out in the mall, like music. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she said. So no, yes or no, her coming? Probably not. You would think a good deed Steve, would be. Yes or no. Hopefully, rewarded. when I'm not here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Thank God she's hopefully coming so tomorrow. From, from the sound of this, is, these are all no's. Yeah. I want to say she returns. Okay. We'll see. Well, you can make friends with her when she comes in. <laughs> Dance um, with her. All right. So we're at the hour point. Uh, uh, any candies? Uh, I'm going to the candy store. Do we have any candy suggestions? 100 grand. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh, we just are we gonna eat random oh, candy? Are we gonna eat the hundred gram in, with respect? <laughs> what does that mean? We definitely that mean need two boxes of chuckles. It? Speaking of respect, when I say that with respect, <laughs> I, I mean like casually eating them, not like oh, I'm gonna eat three a hundred grams a day, and then you know what I mean. If you eat three of them a day. A twenty four pack is done in like eight days. <laughs> are you like, saying that I'm not gonna respect the two hundred grand? <laughs> He was just asking. One, because the <laughs> chuckles weren't respected. <laughs> I didn't eat any of your chuckles. I would have one or two a day, and I think that's respectful. And I, I, and I, <laughs> and I, would, I don't know what it is, but those Milky Way Midnights, they were there for a long time. Now they've just been devoured. It's because it's there's like, nothing else left. <laughs> I'm, Butterfingers are good. So I, let me, let me, the Dan selections, I went with three odd or four oddball selections. The Bright Side Skittles, the Chuckles, the Midnights, and the Butterfingers. All four. Butterfingers is not an oddball. Well, not necessarily. I got it for Tom. Not We've all loved Butterfingers here for okay. a long time. Please don't cut them. We're still 100%. I don't lay a finger three. on my <laughs> The sprees have been holding. I only have the two requests. 100 grand and the goldfish. Mm. This is just a candy, right? Where's the goldfish? This is the no, show. They, they may have. They may have. Well, let's get some goldfish, pal. This and is a serious candy run. This I, is they got everything there, and you get the <laughs> full packs of that candy. I won't be, I will not eat another candy, just a hundred grand, but not more than one a day. <laughs> That's a guarantee. <laughs> so I'd, I'd, I'd rather see no warheads or airheads. Because you know what's going to happen? I'm going to go and do specifically buy the white airheads. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure that you don't touch And the white air, No one else will eat them. <laughs> Doesn't they, and they, so they should sit there as a 50 No, pound, I'm going to have some pack. white airheads, too. <laughs> uh, now the rules are changing. That's it. <laughs> if you're going to troll them. You can't them. taunt me with the white airheads. <laughs> but you, I didn't say anything. You came out and said, I am not going to well, eat any other I didn't know that the, the white airheads were on the table. What? I didn't know they were on the table. I will indulge in some white airheads. <laughs> milk duds. No. Who milk duds are good. I love milk duds. They are candy. They are, they are teeth killers, and I'm not getting What about them. dots? Once Those I are heard, even yes, worse, I think. I love worse. dots. <laughs> <laughs> they the are good, though. The other ones bad are the hot tamales. I love hot tamales, too. Ooh, Mike and Ike's. Hot I hate hot tamales. <laughs> I love them. I like the hot tamales. I like the Mike and Ike's. I don't consider that a candy. <laughs> One day we're going to bet something, Mike. Dan seems like a... You guys sit here and eat hot tamales throughout the episode. <laughs> Dan seems like a good and plenty be that happy. guy. What? Well, I hate good and plenty. <laughs> what do you hate? Good and plenty. <laughs> I actually... Don't think, maybe I had that before. They're it's been good a long, and they're plenty. It's been a long time. They're not great. They're not. They're disgusting. It's like Mr. Good Bar. But wait they till suck. you see the candy <laughs> selection candy. that this place Mr. has. Mr. Bad Bar. Everything you could possibly imagine they have, unless they're out Mr. of them. Mr. Bad <laughs> Um, now, I, I am a little concerned because they only had one Chuckles left when I got it. Do you think they'll have, like, candy that's uh, not, like, it's, like, older, that, like, they don't release anymore? Do they have lots of candy? But they still have. They like, still my have. favorite candy I've ever eaten was the Sour Patch Ice, and they just don't make them anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't find them anywhere. If they're out, of, they get expired or something, they probably don't have them. I have to take a know. peek. I'm very interested. Are you going tomorrow? Yeah, it's very like. I'll make the journey. It's very. <laughs> give me the ice. It's very disorganized. We'll have to send in. a list out to everybody. You walk in, it's just like, it's like our back room. 
It's just like, uh, it's very quiet. I hate it. <laughs> it's, it I, I, my, my one rule about real retail is it's dead quiet. So they walk around working. It's just like. That's a pretty hard question for me to answer. I'm still <laughs> burning on it. What my favorite candy would be. I think duds are up there, though. The duds Andre, are up there. Grand. <laughs> I take pride in being maybe the only person in the world that's favorite candy is 100 grand. Uh, I, I no, I like 100. Yeah. That's your favorite candy. It's in my top six. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's top a good six. candy. I would never put it as a top. It's top favorite. six. It's not my favorite. But when we, get them in, uh, when we used to get them in the variety packs, they were gone quick. 100 grand. It's a very number. nice mix. So. Probably you can't find 100 grams. I don't think they have them there. What? <laughs> <laughs> you said every candy was there, so. I'm Seems confused. like you're striking out on I Sour Patch Ice and 100 grams. I don't remember seeing a box for 100 grams. I probably would have considered getting it if I saw one. You know what I haven't seen for a while are the crispy M and M's with the blue wrapper. No. I used to like those. I don't know if I ever had. You're the only that. one. They had like Rice Krispies in the inside, yeah. covered yeah. by chocolate. You're the only one I do He's not, not aware. <laughs> I hate Rice Krispie treats. Wow. Get out of here, Nico. Get the <laughs> fuck like out of here. That's like all time you know, like, like weird can. Treats? What? It's just a plain thing. When we go to it's BJ's, like sugar. I'm it's marshmallow pack. is the where the good flavor you comes know, when from. When we go to BJ's <laughs> in the next day or two, I'm gonna buy a hundred pack. And I'm gonna walk on. I'm gonna slowly eat Rice Krispie treats in front of you all the what time. What kind of Rice Krispie? Did you actually have the nice blue wrapper official Rice Krispie treat? I'm not eating off-brand Rice Krispies. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, well, a lot of people make homemade Rice Krispie treats and things like that. I just don't like the Krispies. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> That's fucking absurd. <laughs> it's just like a, I just never got that. It was like everyone's favorite thing. I don't understand how you can. Not I remember I the first time I had mom, one. Still, yeah. When my mom would get them for like my dessert for lunch, those were yeah. traded immediately for <laughs> numerous goods. Those things were like, and they probably fed the you a pretty good. Yeah, price. they did. Those things got me like another person's sandwich. I was getting another main course for the cost of a rice krispie. Kids, people want them. You know who used to do that is Tom. I'm well aware. And Tom what? would give he would open he'd sit down at the table and pop open his lunch and give it out for different items and then go buy ice cream instead. <laughs> 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 and then, a nice heartfelt Kathy sandwich. <laughs> I always kept. I a ate that a couple of times. It was pretty good. <laughs> I always kept my sandwich. The, the the chips and the rice crispy or the dessert thing were always up for up for trade. <laughs> the granola bar and the sandwich stayed with me every day. <laughs> <laughs> I Is never it? ever traded mine. I eat my stuff. Everybody had like their own like dibs. Like everyone was assigned a piece. Like oh, Mike gets the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and Somebody gets the drink that he has. Someone gets his dessert. I did always get in middle school. Uh, middle school, I always got the turkey sandwich though. I, I went and got it. Always, I got. I, I always <laughs> had. Daddy uh, never made me lunch. Wow, she made it for so. Tom and not I had a turkey. I, I didn't require. I, I was never looking for. You it. come with a turkey sandwich and the peanut butter and fluff. I was dual wielding <laughs> the sandwiches. It doesn't even look like Tom was asking for it. How he treated it. <laughs> <laughs> I also carried a thing of dimes. That I would take from my like change jar at home and use in the vending machine dimes. in middle school. But no I'm one's gonna notice the dimes those. are missing, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I, will wow. I will say this: I did pull off one dirty prank at the school once, what? and it caused a lot of problems. <laughs> what did you do? And so you remember back in the day, you would go in and you would have your code. Mm -hmm. Like that's your account you could put money on. So you go up, you cash out. You they had a little keypad. You go, they put your code. I can't in. remember my number anymore. I don't remember shame. my number either. And that, that's how you pay for your lunch. Mm. You know, you never did that. No, yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. I'm saying yeah. I never. I don't think I so, know my number. There was this one lady we were always picking on the, the lunch lady. It was just, she was just mean and we were always. So one day when she turned around, I, I don't even know what made me do it or why we even talked about it. But I turned over the keypad and they had like these little lock numbers. Or you, you know how like, you know how like, you know how you have the lock you got to put the number. Did in the you right. reset it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know those locks. Yeah. Like, you, you put the numbers in and it opens a briefcase. Yeah. I, I think all the numbers had to be in the right thing for the keypad to work. So I turned it on and went, <laughs> boom, I turned it back, and no one could cash out after me. It was like, I, and I quick went over there, and they're like, I have no idea what happened. 
happened? <laughs> she's trying to get it, and they had people coming over, and I sat over there, and then there's this one guy. I remember him. He I, threw you under the bus. I remember <gasps> the guy with Rusty McGuire, <laughs> and I have no problem saying his name. Okay, Rusty McGuire is probably one of the biggest troublemakers in our school. He found out I did it, and he went and he squealed. Okay, and I said, I have no idea what he's talking about. I, 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 I stuck my foot down in. I go, I didn't touch the keypad. I think he, I, he goes, I, I remember he went over, I think that kid over there touched the keypad, and he moved the number. I go, I don't know what he's talking about. What are you talking about, pal? Did they pull the tapes? Well, they didn't have a camera back then. Oh. But no one was able to cash out that register the rest of the day. And it was Just like imagine the only that. Line at the food, in, the, in the high school food court. So people were probably wicked, hungry, and pissed. Oh yeah, big. T- no, they 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 had they had to do everything manually. <laughs> It's a pretty scumbag move. I took that one down. I took that one down with me to the grave. <laughs> Not to the grave, to right now. Rusty yeah. knew. Rusty knows. <laughs> Rusty. You should have spun it back on him. He's a classic troublemaker. It was yeah, probably him okay. telling you that it was me. I, I think I had some. I used up some of my credibility. And I go, I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> and then I, like, I don't know why you're trying to blame me for it. And it kind of threw it back at him a little bit. <laughs> yeah. They probably knew. I, I, I was I was an angel in high school for the most part. But the thing is, I knew everyone. In high, I knew all the age very well. So it wasn't a quite. It wasn't like, oh, Dan. Dan would never do that. I actually think one of them said, Dan would never do that. I think I remember one. Even one it's not like you did it maliciously. You might have just been like bored. <laughs> no, I had this to hand turn the device over and do it, and then put it back. <laughs> it was. It was it, How did they not see you doing know, that? No, like that wasn't intentional. <laughs> no one just randomly turned the keypad over, looking at the back of it. How did you know that was there? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how it even it broached. I don't even know how it even came up. But very strange. You never had a you never had a prank that you did in high school or middle school. Probably. I can't address it. I can't it. remember now. Just somebody pooping in a urinal one time. That's about it. We did. We did put a. We did have. We did back in the day. Those the wasps. You ever see? You ever had those? Where you put the paper. You fold them. Oh yeah, yeah. You put them in the rubber band. And you pull them all the way back. <laughs> and you shot them. And we were on the bus one time, and we put like. Eight pennies on the front of it, and we taped it down. And the wasp was like this big, and we from, <laughs> from like the fifth seat from the back all the way that we all pulled the rubber band back, and we shot that fucker right at the front of the bus, and it scared the shit. Out. He pulled the bus over, and we pulled it. He goes, "What the?" And I remember the bus driver's name was Larry. He was like he was like eighty two, and he got up. He probably almost gave him a heart attack. He had the biggest stomach in the world he was like one of the big he has a big stomach he can waddle him back he goes you guys think this is funny and we're all just like because no one knew the whole bus took part in it there wasn't just one kid in the back that was back in my middle school days riding the bus then i got a car and never but never got on the bus again the bus was some good times i've had you guys nico was a drop off kid you get dropped Mm -hmm. off you rode the bus Mm -hmm. all the way through high school I rode. I never got dropped off one. Well, only if I missed the bus. I never got dropped off ever. I either rode with a friend when I couldn't drive in high school, or I, I had my car. In middle school, I rode the bus. Yeah, I. I was never. My mom did a daycare. She had like a million kids at our house. Mm-hmm. Couldn't. I wasn't afforded a drop off. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the road, Nika. <laughs> I rode oh, the bus. Uh, anything else we gotta talk about? Mm, Halo. Dan got teabagged like crazy last night. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, Mike. It was clear who the weak link was. I won't go into it. These two were fighting <laughs> for it. No, I was not. Fighting but I would for still it. rank Nico if like I'm not mistaken, right here, and then Dan and then right here. Some that never get discussed. <laughs> Free for all. Who was second to last? You? No. Not me. No, who else? Keep going. Johnny. Johnny. Mm-hmm. Second to last. Hey, so We're not talking about Johnny right I now. Know, but <laughs> I love how that goes under the radar and doesn't get discussed. But Dan is so bad. See, they just well, you can have a one-game outlier, but when we play five games and you're in last than all of them. I wasn't in last. Barely. The first two games I had, was like in, like, I had more kills than but Jack you lost. one of them. But I have more lost. kills than Luke. <laughs> I I was second in the first one and second in the in the second. Actually, one, I do remember and you Luke and Jackson flipped because Tom had his little jab at. Oh, Dan was doing so well; it must hurt to lose even more. But, but 
Ah, right, well, that's enough. We have people at the counter, it looks like. Oh, they're walking out. But, um, all right. <laughs> uh, that's to be here for this episode of Behind the Counter. We're good to be back after a week off. Uh, Danny NASCAR will be back at it tonight. All the shows will be back at it this week, so make sure you check in throughout the week. Monday Night Gaming as well, right? Yeah, uh, yep. We got your boy, Yo Soy, Monday Night Gaming from the West Coast tonight at 11. So, um, until Danny NASCAR, hope everyone has a great evening. See you back here next week. Adios. Adios.